to buying things for your baby, it can feel like this never ending game of like, do I have enough? Do I have the right things? Am I giving you everything you need for like the age that you're developing in? And honestly, there's good reason behind it. The things that I absolutely loved whenever Wilder was a newborn in the zero to three month stage is completely different than the things that we are using for him now. That is why in today's video, we are going to dive into all of the things that I have found to be the must have products for my baby during the like four to eight month range. There are hundreds and thousands of products on the market because they know as parents, we will do anything for our kids if we think that it'll make them more comfortable, happier, develop better, like be on track for where they need to be. If you are new to my channel, my name is Carly. Thank you so much for coming and watching this video. I am a labor and postpartum doula and I create content here on my channel all about pregnancy and labor and motherhood and pretty much everything that falls in between. It is my passion to support, empower, and educate pregnant people so that they can have the birthing experience that they deserve. Between four and eight months old, it is likely that you might experience some sort of sleep regression. Up until this point, your baby may have been sleeping in the same room as you, and you might be starting to transition them into a separate room. And for us, we had Wilder sleeping in the room with us, and he moved into his own room. The entire time he slept in the room with us, we had a sound machine going to kind of like help him get ready for bed. So we've used this since he was born, but it was particularly crucial during his four month sleep regression. Now I'm gonna do an entire video about the four month sleep regression because I feel like we learned a lot of information that I know I would have loved to have known uh, whenever we were going through it. So I'm definitely gonna put something together for you guys. But one of the key things that you have to do whenever you're going through that regression is just instill a really solid bedtime routine. And a crucial part of that for us was having the sound machine. This one is so amazing because it has a lot of different types of white noise and kind of depending on like personal preference, the frequency of a white noise can really bother you or it can be really soothing. And this one has a lot of different options to it. And I really like the way that it looks. I think it's really, really cute. We have used this thing every single time Wilder has taken a nap or gone to sleep for the last like, I mean, nine months now. So I, I could not live without this. And then on the shelf right next to our sound machine is where we keep our baby monitor. This is the Kubo monitor and it is the cutest. It's this little bird. Once we transitioned Wilder into his own room, it definitely became more important to me to have a monitor with a video function on it. And then on top of that, when he started learning how to roll over, which most babies do between that like four to eight month range, I was super panicky about him sleeping in his crib and rolling over on his belly and not being able to see him. And this monitor took all of my worries away. It had a lot of really fantastic features to it. Like like if your baby's face is covered, it sends you an alert. And if your baby is crying, it sends you an alert. You can set up safety zones. So you can set like a square around the crib. And if your baby isn't detected in that crib, it will alert you. It connects to your phone via Wi-Fi, and uh, the picture is crystal clear. It actually takes like random pictures and random videos of your baby throughout the day and the night, and you can keep those. And I just love that. I think they're the sweetest moments and um, we can just watch him wherever we are. If we have our phone and we have an internet connection, we're good to go. So I highly, highly recommend the Kubo monitor. Now staying in the like sleep section, I, <laughs> could not have lived without this swaddle. This is the Love to Dream swaddle and it actually has um, sleeves that zip off of this. So when we first transitioned Wilder out of like the classic looking swaddle, we put him into this like stingray suit is what we called it because it had sleeves that would like swaddle his arms up near his head. This was the first step we started taking whenever we needed him to transition out of a swaddle entirely because he was starting to roll over. But that takes time. You have to imagine as a baby, they have been swaddled. If you swaddled your baby, they have been swaddled since like the day they came out of the womb. So it's a very different sensation to just have your limbs like out and about. So this was really nice because we put him in it with the sleeves zipped on and then slowly over time, we zipped one sleeve off and he would have one arm out and have his other arm still in. And then once he got used to that, we could unzip the other sleeve and he'd have both of his arms out. And now it's just a sleep sack that he can use every single night. And his other sleep item that we just can't live without is this little lovey. I kid you not, is probably 
of these four things the most important thing to his bedtime routine. Whenever Wilder is going to sleep, for whatever reason, he just likes, like especially during that four to five month range, he was finding his hands and just like rubbing them together all the time and he would rub them over his face and he would knock his binky out and then he'd be upset because he couldn't put his binky back in his mouth yet. Also speaking of binkies, I talked about this in my zero to three month old um, favorites video too, but these are the uh, Bibs binkies and these are so amazing. Wilder took to these immediately and they are his absolute favorite binkies by far. But anyway, he would put his binky in his mouth, we would get him all ready, he would lay him down and he would just knock it out and then immediately cry. Um, and so when we gave him his lovey to hold on to, he would hold on to it and just kind of like move it around in his hands instead of knocking the binky out of his mouth and he would go to sleep immediately. This is a really, really nice sleep cue for him because he doesn't get it at any other time during the day other than when he's about to go to sleep. So as soon as he gets his hands on this and he can smell it and he knows it's there, I mean, that kid is out like a light. Now, this next one is a, a carrier. This is the Ring Sling by Sakura Bloom. I have been attached to this thing lately because um, first and foremost, whenever Wilder was going through the phase where they learn about object permanence, which means that uh, they realize that when you are in the same room with them, um, that you're still there, but they aren't with you and they want to be with you. That was a learning curve for him and for all babies to go through. And they tend to be a little clingier during that time. And he really only was happy if I was holding him. Um, if Drew was holding him, he would cry. If he was on the floor, he would cry. If he was playing, I mean, no matter where we put him, he would cry unless I was holding him um, and that lasted for like a week or two and so in order to kind of like continue my everyday life I used this ring sling all the time. I really like this one because it's made out of this really nice linen kind of woven fabric and so it makes it really breathable. He doesn't get overheated and I don't get overheated whenever I have it on. Um, it's really comfortable for both of us to wear. I whenever he was younger I tried to use it and I struggled a little bit whenever I first got it. I think most people struggle to figure out exactly how it works um, because you do have to kind of play around with it to get the fit just right but he's at the age now where I hold him on my hip a lot and I really like this for having him on my hip now with that I also got an ergo baby carrier um, I picked this one up at a kids consignment sale I got this for I remember getting this I think for $4.99 or something and uh, it has definitely paid off. Now this one, I didn't use as much when he was younger, like four to five months. Um, but recently I've really been loving it because he is uh, big enough and like sitting up on his own and crawling around obviously and doing all this stuff. So he is strong enough that he can be on my back. So I have been putting him in the carrier and wearing him around my back and it has enabled me to do so much more. Uh, the ring sling is great, but he's still on my hip. He can still like grab at stuff and kind of like get involved than whatever it is that I'm doing. Um, and this one really keeps him separate. He's still happy because he's on my back and we can wear him around like Drew will wear him while he's cooking dinner. We'll take him outside and like do things in the garden. Um, whatever it is that we're doing that we don't necessarily need him like hands on in there and we need both of our hands. This is a really, really great option. I have been using them nonstop. Uh, for the last few months. Now, speaking of crawling, one thing that we have used a ton of are outfits that have no feet. I had pretty much exclusively been putting him in like footy zip up onesies. And whenever he started discovering his toes, he would grab them all the time and hold on to them and want to play with them. So I started just leaving him in his diaper. Um, but now that he's crawling around everywhere, I want him to have clothes on, but I want him to be able to use his feet because he's standing up. He's like pulling himself up on everything. Um, and I've talked about Posh Peanut in a couple of videos, but I just love their onesies. They're super soft and they come in really great patterns. My mom got me into them. She actually sends all of these <laughs> to us, but she sent us this little guy this is like a little short sleeve one with little buttons on the top and it is uh footless when he's crawling around and pulling himself up i'm not worried about him slipping on his footies in like a normal zip up 90 that i have been using one thing that we really really loved during the like four to six month range is this little stand-up table that is from skip hop it has like activities all around it and you can put your baby in the middle of it and uh, they can play on the activity table we would put him in this before he kind of figured out the object permanence thing <laughs> we 
we could put him in this and he would stay in his playroom and he would play in that thing for like an hour by himself. He loved it. He would talk to himself and like goo goo gaga to himself and just stowed a town on that thing. I also got this one at the kids consignment sale. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I have an entire highlight saved on my Instagram stories of like all of my consignment sale finds um, that I get whenever I go shopping for Wilder. I am a huge advocate for shopping secondhand when it comes to your baby and getting products for them because everybody is always churning out things that they have tried in their house that maybe didn't work for them or they don't need anymore. I mean, babies is only stay babies for so long. So there's so many things out there for you to get secondhand. It's cheaper, it reduces your waste, and it's just overall a better option. So always try and shop secondhand first, and then if you can't find it and you really need it or you really want it, then get it new. Speaking of secondhand things, um, another thing that we have been using nonstop are these little bibs that have like a cup in it. I just did a video about um, baby led weaning. This is something that we have been doing for the last few months and we absolutely love it. And there are a couple of things that make it just like a little bit more manageable. And this is definitely one of them. This is great because it's uh, made out of like silicone and you can just wipe it out. It catches the food, you can scoop it out. It's super easy to clean. They don't get yucky. Um, and I also got this at the consignment sale. I think I got this one and my other bib. I got both of them, I think for a dollar. Now, as your baby is growing and developing, you have to keep them uh, engaged with different types of toys. And the number one thing that I think this age range loves are all of the toys that make sound. So I don't think it's specific to one particular type of toy, but all of these toys make sound. This is like a little rattle from Love Every. And this one is also from them. This came with our like play gym that they have. It has like a bell at the top. It has little like clackers on the side. And this is definitely a crowd favorite. I've had this um, with him. I've had it with a baby who's like two months younger than him, a kid who's two years old, a kid who's 18 months old. Um, and all of them are huge fans of this particular one, but this is from Love Every as well. We have a bunch of these kind of like little clangy bells and then stuff that they can kind of like get their fingers in. They're figuring out how to use their hands and like hand eye coordination and grabbing onto things. And so these types of ones that are silicone and have little holes in them are really nice because they can hold onto it with both hands. And it has a little bit of a sound maker in it too, but the general consensus is stuff that makes sound. Another one that I think is so great for this age group and ages beyond this age group um, are stacking toys like this one. This is a little giraffe that I got whenever I was actually pregnant with Wilder. It was the first toy that I bought for him whenever I found out I was pregnant. And I'm so glad that I got it because he loves it. And every single kid that I have given this toy to loves it all the way up until I think like two years old. And I will link everything that I have um, in this video. I, like I said, I got a lot of it secondhand and I still encourage that. But if you want something and you can't find it secondhand, I will link it down below for you. So other play items that I just want to touch on really, really quickly that um, are really great for this age range uh, are things that have other babies on them. Um, at this age, they really love to see other babies. Having that kind of facial recognition to see other babies is really exciting. And then with that, having some sort of mirror option is really great too. All of these are from Love Every as well. They came in the same kit that I got those other wooden bells in. Um, these are the black and white ones that came with his newborn kit, which he still loves. And more than anything too, I keep them all together in this little basket. We loosely follow kind of a Montessori practice when it comes to his toys and how we have things set up. So I like to keep things separately in different baskets, like obviously like this little guy was. And then with this toy, I actually deconstruct it and put it into a basket. I keep everything in a little basket, like corralled together, but it isn't stacked up. Um, that's something that they recommend to do, like from the Montessori practice. But Wilder loves to reach for this basket and pull all of these different cards out and just like spreads them across the floor and looks at them and shuffles through them. And I mean, he's destroyed them. They're totally like bent and crumpled up, but he loves it. He will play with these for so long and they have different objects, you know, simple objects that are colorful and on every side and you can talk to them about them. Um, your baby is absorbing a lot of information at this stage and it might feel silly to talk to your, you know, seven month old 
uh, and point at a picture and say like avocado, but they are learning so fast. They are developing so fast and rapidly. So having these types of learning tools around are so great at this age. Another thing that I've done is I hung these Ikea spice racks really low to the ground. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. Um, it's a really good Ikea hack because these shelves are super inexpensive. I got mine on Facebook Marketplace. I got all four of these for $10, um, but I hang them really low to the ground so that he can get his books down whenever he wants. And he loves to just take the books off the shelf and like put them down. He will hold on to the books and kind of, you know, flip through. He's not actually reading them, but he loves to be read to. Now I have mentioned these a hundred times. I made a full video doing a review on this company because I love them that much. And that is the Nora's Nursery Cloth Diapers. I love these cloth diapers so much. They have been such a fantastic alternative to only using disposable diapers. Um, we are not exclusively cloth diapering by any means, but these have been a really great option to incorporate into our disposable routine. Um, I will link the video here for you if you want to check out the full review because I cannot stop talking about them. And then last but not least, my most coveted item that has been a huge lifesaver for us over these last few months is this little strawberry. This strawberry has come in handy for us so many times as Wilder was starting to get into the process of teething. He would just be inconsolable sometimes. And I use different oils to help him. I use like copaiba oil and clove oil, and that would really help to numb his gums. But the oils do wear off. And once they wear off, I don't want to keep reapplying it too frequently. And so after that would wear off, I would use this with him. And every single time you give it to him, he is immediately soothed. But those are all of the products that I feel like have been the most essential items uh, over the last few months. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you have a baby who is kind of in the same age group, definitely let me know what you feel like were your must have essential items. I am always curious to know what you guys have been using and what you feel like you needed. So leave me a comment down below and let me know. And like I said earlier, if you are not already, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you for my next video and definitely give this video a big thumbs up. If you have enjoyed it, it helps me out so, so much if you do. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.